bro. Here we go again. Two Detroit nerds back at it, going in another week, another podcast. We got more content for you guys forever. So, a lot of shit's been going on, man. I want you to first take it away because I feel like these last couple episodes I've just been, you know, dominating the uh, content stream. Yeah, of yeah. All I've been topics. ready. This, this yeah. is the way I was hoping this one was gonna go. Nice. I was expecting the normal uh, Dom. How you? How how you doing? How you been? Yeah, yeah. But I can take it away with this too. Yeah, take it away, man. Adam, I'm pissed. Okay. Very What's going pissed. on? What the, happened? The, 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 the super anime fan in me is pissed. Uh oh. What's going on? To my anime aficionados, my close friends, people that should be giving me these suggestions and, and offerings when it comes to the anime world, mm-hmm. I'm mad at y'all. Uh-oh. Y'all know who you are. Uh oh. Ron, Spence. Uh oh. It's about all I can name off the top of my head. Um, I stumbled upon something great that's only been briefly mentioned to me that I feel like my peers around me should have definitely focused more on getting me onto the wave of they should have been on top of this they should have been like stop everything you're doing go right this right right this should have been something covered but it wasn't covered a a minute ago not too long but a minute ago yes Mm -hmm. absolutely and Mm -hmm. and that would be this newer title called freerin I don't, know, I don't know if you've seen or heard about it. No, is this a Crunchyroll exclusive? This is, no, I don't think it's exclusive. It might be. I haven't, I haven't really checked out the sh- streaming services, but I know Crunchyroll is where it's at if you want to go watch okay. it. That's where everybody's watching it right now. Walk me through it. It's basically a story about an elf um, that... Let me say this beforehand. I'm only about five episodes in. Okay, okay. Story about an elf who is on this everlasting adventure, and she's longing to... Just just learn spells. Learn okay. about magic. Yeah. Learn new spells. All right. pretty simple concept, right? Right, right, right. Um, but from what I've told and read about, it, it it opens up and becomes much, much more. And I'm only, like I said, five episodes in, bro, and the shit it already took me away. It it has this real, real heavy presence of calmness. Yeah. That yeah. doesn't usually grab my attention when I'm watching an anime, especially not by the time I'm five episodes in. Right, right. right copy and paste this to another title mm-hmm. i'm gonna think it's not that good you know right, what i mean like right do this with jjk demon slayer chainsaw man any of these other shows i'm like damn where's the action at? exactly but and, the way go ahead but you're surprised that the slower pace or the lack of action is working is for me. working and you're still getting some enjoyment out of it this is very interesting to me oh my bro and, and i couldn't wait to tell you about it I, I wanted to wait till i was a few episodes in just to make sure like you know it really was holding up those standards as as to something I would like, let alone you would like. Yeah, this and sounds like something up my uh, in my wheelhouse. It opens up and starts off in a very good way. Um, it, it starts off with like a a, a past reflection, and then after a, an episode or two, it kind of fast forwards to the current time, which I like. Right. That. I, I like that yeah. time change, this time difference. Yeah. Where yeah, here's what we were doing. Here's where we are right at this moment, and um. Outside of that, man, everything really checks out, bro. the The world is is amazing. It's beautiful the way yeah. that they do it. Uh, the voice acting is good. The main character, there's a mystery there. Her name is F- Freerin. That's mm-hmm. the, the the title of the show is the main character's name. Okay, okay. I like it because she almost within the first few episodes seems emotionless, right? Now, now right. the way we've seen a lot of elves depicted in anime, yeah. most of them, you know, they they're, they kind of fit that narrative, right? But right. Early on, you get to really see her open up and, and kind of change how she is as a person in a way that, at least the way that this show mm-hmm. shows how an elf should be, mm-hmm. isn't the norm. Mm-hmm. Th- mm-hmm. This is this is very different in their world for somebody of this, uh, of this uh, what, what would I say, species. Right. Um, you know, it, it's kind of similar so, to other ways that elves are. You know, they, mm-hmm. they're, they're long living. They, they outlast a lot of their people that they're around their groups like things like that go ahead though so no my question was uh, because i've seen a lot of these uh fantasy animes recently at least uh, not super recently but in the last like two years that i've been watching anime and they do kind of try to keep this consistent lore Mm -hmm. of certain types of you know orcs act a certain way elves act a certain way and uh i guess what you're saying about this show is that even though it has a familiar understanding of like what you would expect an elf Mm -hmm. to be it still has something unique oh yeah big time man i mean because as far as i'm concerned there's there's about two to three different types of elves that i've seen with an anime you know it's usually like the super happy super go lucky elf that's like doesn't have a care in the world loves the Mm -hmm. earth loves nature loves things around them you know they're there and then you have another type which is 
kind of the opposite. They're mm-hmm. they're downright dirty and evil. They don't really care because they have this 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 um amazing talent, this latent ability within them because of who they are. Yeah. Also, magic is the power system in this. Okay. Forgot to mention. Yeah. That. Okay. Magic. Okay. Yeah. There is a power system in this, and um. Like I said, they usually have that like latent ability of just being loved by whatever source provides them with the magic. And right. then the third would be this. Mm-hmm. She's kind of, like I said, she's kind of in between both of those. Like doesn't, mm-hmm. isn't really full on emotion. Yeah. But you can tell like, at least from where I am right now in the story, there, there's something about her, right? Because you, you know, you know with how they depict a lot of these main characters, like she's that, that heavy learn type. She wants yeah. to go learn everything, which she probably doesn't need to is what i'm assuming right now off of what i know right she probably doesn't need to be doing this but i know we're gonna get that that common story of like the person that goes and like works the hardest studies the hardest yeah for every little thing and even puts to use like the most useless spells Mm. she's i'm just this is all assumption she's probably gonna use them in the most crazy way anybody in the world has ever seen right you know what i mean creative with how she uses so uh, is is this kind of this character kind of a uh you remember the love interest in re-zero yes i do the absolutely uh what's her name elizabeth no is it elizabeth no i think it's like amelia amelia and subaru yes yeah 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 is it she like an amelia type character where she no okay no no um they they do show her around a couple of male counterparts in her original group um i don't want to call it a guild but they are adventurers so you know it, it follows yeah. it follows a lot of the same kind of things that mm. this type of story would you know they, they go out and go do missions and, mm. and requests whatever else it is they do that kind of thing but you only get to see so much of that okay. which i like okay because huh. it doesn't it gives you the right amount of information on the people around her at that time and then like i said you get the time skip to now fast forward and then you get another look into all these other people and it's kind of like the perspective of the life in an elf's eyes because like i said from what we know in these kind of stories they always outlive everybody that they're around because Mm -hmm. they live for hundreds and hundreds of years while if they're around humans or other species like i think one of the dudes is a dwarf which is not too far off from an elf like it's they show all of that and and it's a very good inclusion within the story for me okay huh so, so I guess what I'm hearing you saying is that as the story's going on, it's kind of the world is opening up and getting bigger, and there's an addition of of characters and story and lore that you're enjoying. Is kind of what I'm hearing. yes, in in the best way possible too. And like I said, bro, I have only one other person that's watched more than me on this. Ron, I'm talking about you now, and Ron had even told me earlier on that he didn't even think I would like it that much because of. The fact that it's like seven, eight episodes in before like some real action happens. Right. So I, you know, I took I took his suggestion, and I was like, let me just let me just start this. Mm-hmm. And now I'm like, dude, wipe all opinions in your head about me out when it, when it comes to anime because I'm already liking it. It's like I said, I'm five episodes in. Anything else? Or to just been like, you know what? Set it up on the shelf real quick. Let me let me let me, let yeah. me go back to something I've watched before. Or something I think, new. I think my rule is like if I'm halfway through the second episode and I'm still like looking at how much time is left, it's probably not going to work. And I didn't do that once. And that's that's kind of how you know. I mean, the fact that there's so many animes now that are supposed to be really good, but I can barely get through the first episode, and people are like, "Oh, wait till episode three, wait till episode four Kind of tells you where we are. But if you can just start from episode one and you're attention is taken Mm -hmm. so thoroughly that you don't even notice how much time has passed that's how you know it's a good show the only show recently that i think anime wise that i've felt that way with is to your eternity yeah first episode that took my attention i believe it rob i've heard very good things about that and have been meaning to check it out but i've been off i'll be honest don't come for me folks but i've been off my anime shit for me too bro i'm still still as much of a fan as we've always talked about that i am don't get that twisted no i me too Uh, but you know it's crazy because I'll be sitting here and I'll be thinking, oh, you know, I'm, it's just because I'm getting older and I'm almost thirty, and I probably am just losing, you know, my interest in anime, and that's why I don't like it that much. And then something happened, Dom. I happened to just stumble across, kind of flip see through YouTube, and I found a uh, clip from a old show, an old anime, Uh-oh. that. Um, Reminded me that it's not because I'm not interested in anime. It's because there used to be very, very, very good anime. Yeah. And that's just not what's going on anymore. 
It's weird, bro. Escaflown, Escaflown has one of the fucking greatest animation slash uh, production music mm-hmm. of any fucking anime. And it's a minor league title yeah. from the 1990s. Like, it's not a big anime. It's not something that uh, tons of people talk about. It doesn't have a huge fan base. And I'm not even saying it's particularly the greatest, like, story-wise or anything like that. But the animation, yes. the production, the music puts all these fucking animes to you know, shame. Like, it's crazy. To shame, Dom. It's really crazy to me because we've only, we haven't talked too much about this, you know, outside of our text that you sent me and Maul yeah. in our group chat, right? Yeah. I haven't said nothing about it, like, out loud for my, uh, my fucking spy device in my pocket to pick <laughs> up on, you know? Right, right. I'm scroll- rent never has this come up on my feed once, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. But I guess because that that text is in our log, yep. I'm scrolling on Facebook and I came across a clip from that from Escaflown randomly. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're gonna- amazing. You guys, I've never I've never witnessed it myself. Never watched it. Amazing. If if you're a fan, which any anime fan should be a fan is, but if you are a fan of that '90s aesthetic, the animation, the attention to detail that these authors and these illustrators were really, really just putting into these. These shows and these titles, check Dom, this out. Dom, they're not doing it like they used to. They're Dom. not, bro. And, and I was trying to get over that. I was really trying to just be like, hey, it's time for me to just accept that anime is what it is today. Yeah. And I just have to accept it for the art form that it's become and not constantly harken back to, oh, when it was this other thing. Of course. But, oh, man, when you see what the other thing was, when you see what got us into anime, why we're doing this show right now. The types of titles that I'm talking about, Yu Yu Hakusho, Evangelion, mm-hmm. Escaflown, Gundam, these are iconic. I mean, one frame. Literally. One frame from Escaflown. Literally. Is better. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me take that by literally. 90%. 90. Awesome. Awesome. 90. No, I, I feel that though. It is, you know what's really weird to me, bro? It's kind of flipped now with with what works today and what would have worked then right because let's be honest here the golden age the 90s we only had so many titles that were like really cemented early on right and and, and they're the ones that are still considered to be you know the top of the tops the goats of today if you will right like you know you're like your your foundings right like your dragon ball gundams maybe your case closed your yu haka show and then a little bit after that would be like your naruto's the big threes and whatnot It's very weird to me because when you go back now, when we go back now, at the age that we are, still being fans of anime, right? Yeah. You can kind of really see, like, there was a lot more titles than we thought were it at that time. A lot more as opposed to now. Yeah. It's like if something, for example, at least then, you had to be able to engage so many fans, have, like, a really cool or complex power system or maybe just a really likable main character back in the day, right? Yeah. For, for it to actually, like, get you on the airwaves, yeah, get, have, course, have yeah. your time slot and have mm-hmm. people, like, really tuning in. Mm-hmm. Now it's, like, it's almost like a, a, like a repeat case, right? Yeah. If a story is close enough or if a show is close enough to another big show that was out, it yeah. kind of works for the right, show, right? Right, 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 right. Um, I really hope that that can be done away with. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm a fan of some of these shows that fit that narrative. Yeah, I'll never course. discredit that. Me too. Yeah. Outside of that, though, we've talked about this in the past, you and I, a lot of the origi- originality is what's missing for me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. When I say originality, I don't mean it's got to be completely new. Nothing can be similar to anything that's come out before. Mm-hmm. I'm okay with things being similar. When I say originality, he- here's what I want to talk about. And this is one of my favorites. Yeah. Like Jujutsu Kaisen. Yeah. In more cases than one, it is very similar to Naruto. Oh, yeah. You have your three-man team, two men, one woman. Mm-hmm. The main character is kind of stupid, not that smart, but has this this very, like I said, latent ability that almost seemed like they've honed it this whole time, but you can tell they haven't because they don't yeah. know how to properly use it, right? Then you have the 
other male character who is kind of edgy, dark, has a bad past, mm -hmm. family ain't around, mm -hmm. has some crazy OP technique that gets awakened upon things like uh, danger mm -hmm. or or sadness and sorrow. And then you have a sounds a little familiar. It does, right? And then you have the, then you have the third of the team, which would be the girl who was kind of like girly but with that sense of like kind of being burly at the same time ready to stand on shit but when when shit really gets serious yeah who is she looking to right and right. then last point i want to make who was their teacher blindfolded white-haired guy cool as fuck strong off rip looks like he just possesses natural talent but then eventually into the story you get to see that he actually had to work a lot to get there right 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 now this is just a case of where that works but if the, any other Naruto clones come out, Bleach clones, One Piece clones, it's not going to work that same way. This, yeah. this, this is an exception. This is like a, yeah. I don't want to say a diamond in the rough. This is like a diamond in the clear. But you know what it is, though? Sometimes you can have a similar format as someone else, but you still have your own unique story yes. to tell. And then that's where they differ from the rest. Yeah, and I think that's why Jujutsu Kaisen kind of stands on its own two feet. But my, my point is that when you talk about originality, and you talk about sort of uh, the things that make an anime distinct, right? There used to be so much So more. much, bro. There used to be so much more, man. And I'm telling you that as much as I do appreciate new stuff, I have found, yes, people who've listened to this mm -hmm. show and think that I only watch Evangelion. No, there are new animes that I do watch. I just can't remember any of their names right now. But there's, I'm sure, some that I saw at some point that were better than Evangelion. No, I'm kidding. But he's not kidding. He's right. But uh, the point is, is like th there just isn't this variety of substance. Yeah. Anymore, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I feel that. And it, it just it sucks, man. We, we were born at the best time. Yes. Is what I think, man. We no, really we were, were, bro. We were because you got to think about it, too. Back in the time when that golden age was going on, it was decentralized. You couldn't sit around. I mean, there was Internet 1.0, right? So if you had a really good hardline connection, you could sit on a message board and talk to other people. Yeah, but that was you were kind of siloed. You were yeah. kind of just in your own little world enjoying these things, and you couldn't really interact with a community of people mm -hmm. that could tell you more about it, introduce you to other lore, show you other types of shows that yep. were you know, kind of like that. You were just sort of at the will or at the mercy of whatever Tsunami. anime happened to air. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. And But there is a part of me that misses that, man. I know, man, because it, it doesn't... Listen, man, having the accessibility to more isn't always good. I don't think because, it is. Because you yourself as an individual tend to... You, you know, we tend to get watered down, I want to say, with it because because we have access to so much more. And that's not to take away from any new titles, anything of this new era, but it's it's very telling and showing of, of like when you're offered less, you want more. Yeah. When you have more, you want less. You it want seems. less. Yeah. You it's know what so I mean? Interesting. And I think about the animes that I didn't even like that I just was forced to watch because it was right before the anime that I liked. Yeah. And there was still, I mean, I, I'm going to pretend like I didn't like Rave Master when I had to watch it. But I love Ray. You love, yeah, exactly. I love. You know what I mean. So, I, but I would have never have given it a chance on my own. If it was up today, if it was on Netflix, I would yeah. have never clicked on that. No. But I got to see something that I may not have at first liked, but because maybe I had to watch it maybe four or five times just to get to Gundam. Yeah. I kind of got into it. Of course. And then it was another thing that I got enjoyment out of. Yeah. I got entertainment from. So, there is something to be said right about not necessarily always getting a choice mm -hmm. in what you see, but kind of getting a. Uh, selection from you know people that are creating this stuff yes. like hey this this might be the most interest or the, the a more interesting anime something that might be off the beaten path for mm -hmm. you but you appreciate it when you see it all yeah. day man and, and there's there's just so many examples of of why people do appreciate these things we've we've already covered so many and i just can't stress it enough like i just I guess it's that thing of, you know, just getting older and the newer generation coming in and, you know, just thinking like they're hot shit, their opinion matters so much. Hey, yeah. you young kids, shut up. No, Demon anybody is not the best. <laughs> Listen, Demon Slayer is far from the best. Anybody that was born before 1997, you shouldn't even be t talking about anime. You should just be, oh, what anime should I be watching? And then I would tell you, you know. Yeah, w w we're the reasons. We'll let you yeah, know. Yeah, we'll tell you guys. If, if you're of a certain age, come ask us. We will definitely guide you down the right path because like i said it was it was what was given to us 
wasn't even something we, we the, yeah. the most amount of choice we had to pick was if your local video store carried certain things. Yes. And let's remember, you guys, you 2000 babies and after, you guys don't know this. We had about four to five different titles that would actually show up in a video store, let alone they would have maybe two to three copies of these movies or shows. You so, know, I saw the Yu Yu Hakusho movie that has that uh, dub that doesn't have any of the original voice actors on it. So I went to Mammoth Video in Canton, Michigan. This is when I first moved here from Miami in like 2005. Oh, I moved man. here. And uh, I was uh, trying to watch some anime. The blockbusters further down the street, they had uh, a couple of Gundam episodes, mm-hmm. like Gundam Wing. Yeah. So I had first kind of got into Gundam Wing through going to that blockbuster. Okay. Shout but out there Mammoth. Was a, but there was a Mammoth Video that was... Like, I had never really rented anything from there. I was like, I wonder what their anime selection has. So I go over there, and there's all these animes I've never seen, but I remembered Yu Yu Hakusho from Adult Swim, yes. or from Toonami. So I get the movie. I'm like, holy shit, this is a movie from Yu Yu Hakusho, and I watch it. And I didn't know what a dub was back yeah. then. I didn't understand why the voice actors' voices didn't We're sound the same. the same, and I was so fucking disturbed. So I go back, and I turn that, that movie in, and I, like, don't rent another... Uh, uh, anime from there because I'm because th- in my young mind I'm thinking oh they have maybe like bootlegs there yeah right? I don't realize what that it's the studio that yeah. that got changed the voice actors so I go back to the blockbuster mm-hmm. and I've already seen all the Gundams and I'm just looking through the aisles and I'm like what is this other anime it looks like there's mechs here and there's like a uh-huh. anime girl you know where he's going guys. And it says this word that, you know, I grew up in a religious family, so I I recognized the root of the word. It said Evangelion. It said Neon Genesis Evangelion. And uh, the rest is history. The rest is history. <laughs> Adam was then possessed by Unit 1, and, you know, there's not much more to say than that, guys, you know? <laughs> Listen, I saw a guy at Target yesterday. Mm-hmm. Allie will confirm this. Working at Target, p- stocking shelves. Nigga had the Evangelion across the chest. Instantly became your best friend. I, to- I told him. I didn't say anything about the show. He'll probably find it just because this clip is about him. You'll, fi- you'll yeah, find this. He'll you'll see find it. This, the algorithm man. will make its way there. You're lit, bro. Keep doing you. You already know what it is. But it just reminded me that I'm not alone. Dumb. You never should have thought that, bro. No, nah, because, you know, I talk to you guys. Especially I'll talk to somebody like Ron who just pretends like Evangelion is just like the most you know obscure anime that no one's ever heard of and why should i give it my time and it's just like dude this is the fucking sensation of forever of of everything this is it this I mean, is it here's the thing and and i feel like it's like not like you know what it's like it's like not liking da vinci yeah that's I what mean, that is that's like not liking there's Shakespeare. always two reasons right why you wouldn't like something like that either you're unaware or You've seen so much flack from others about it that you kind of want to ride that that train, right? Of course. That's why I don't like Naruto. But, yeah. Which is a terrible reason, but... Yeah. That's why I don't like Naruto, because all y'all niggas just sit around talking about Naruto. Naruto is amazing. Nigga, what the fuck so, I look like talking about Naruto? Nigga? How, listen, bro. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. Every, every, every black youth at the time wanted to be a ninja, regardless of seeing Naruto. Then Naruto came out. What yeah. else outside of what? Ninja Scroll... And uh, me personally, you know, we grew up in America. I can't really name too many other titles. What else really depicted ninjas <laughs> in that same way throughout uh, the anime world? Throughout the anime world, uh, ninjas, uh, Tenshi Muyo. Okay. Which. No, actually. It does. <laughs> We're not throwing that up with Naruto ever. Uh, no, that did ninjas. Uh, shit. I mean. Almost nothing. I mean, uh, Roroni Kinshin. I mean, it wasn't necessarily They're samurai. Ni- yeah, it's samurai. I guess whatever. Fucking yeah. yeah. And what, do we, what what did we have in America? Ninja Turtles, fucking maybe Teen Titans. Like there wasn't many things out there that were really showing. Speaking of what you, little young niggas today don't know about is the live action Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles nineteen ninety seven movie. Oh my, bro! If they seen it now, they would think it's trash. And, and that's the and problem. it pisses me off. And that's the problem. Look where we came from. That's why. This world is going to shit. It is, man. Because you people can't, can't watch. If you can't watch the fucking first <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles live action movie yeah. where they put the Domino's pizza through the sewer grate in Manhattan, if that's not if that's not cool to you, 
Listen, man. I, we can't help you. you we stop need to get listening you, to the show. Yeah, you need your brainwaves checked because There's something's got to be need, wrong there. You need a intense therapy. But that's that's what I like. Want to get back to about this whole like old versus new gen of of anime. Like, I, I think something that the new generation fails to realize and appreciate is how much more was done with less. Yeah, let's really go back and look on a lot of these things. But we're not talking about these studios now that are making tens to hundreds of millions of dollars in total off revenue of the title of their show right we're right, talking about right. people that were putting in these obscene amount of hours of work like we're seeing today right mm-hmm. we're seeing these people these editors these writers all these people that work on the on the crew within the studios that are putting out these masterpieces of which we call them today 90 to 100 hours a week right right do that same thing in a worse working condition right with probably a lot less motivation than these guys of today have look what was put out in those times there's to me it's like so much more creativity so much more um i I just lost the word so much more um actual like motivation to just like really Mm -hmm. get out there and get your shit out because Mm -hmm. we're talking they still had to fill time slots out they had to dubbing things was probably much harder at that time over these shows because incredible you had to get the show follow the, the mouth speed all these other things that today it's a lot different but old gen will always be the best man if i live for another 100 to 200 years i would still i would still make that claim it's to some of the day. greatest achievements in in uh animation motion pictures yes that humans like when everything is said and done like pretend that you don't have any of the propaganda of disney being all of this and all of that imagine you're not american <laughs> all right i think we're going back yeah Ooh. sorry it, you guys uh yeah it for just, some reason you know we we had some technical difficulties we've seen a huge robotic figure just speed and zoom past the window and it was like an emp all the lights in this complex out here went out mm-hmm. the computer turned off camera everything turned off so we're back though yeah you know it, things happen like this in tokyo 3 so, yeah i mean you, you know. we expected this we know you guys wouldn't but things like this happen so it is we'll just it carry is. on so anyways uh there was something else we were talking about yeah i mean like of course i'm always going to give naruto its respect i'm always yeah. going to say that uh the big titles i mean because i love bleach so i would i would never hate on bleach from t- i'm thinking about like oh yeah like one piece one Piece, Naruto, like, I hate on those shows, but obviously, right, like, you can't deny they have the hugest fan base of any show, especially yeah. in the Western world. So, you know, it is what it is. Don't, um, how do you hate on the better of the three? What do you mean? Bleach comes in last. The what? You no, didn't know that? Bleach is way better than Naruto. That, that, <laughs> Bleach is a thousand times better than Naruto. Oh, my God. You guys... What? Please, please is, come is, for this. Are you man. serious? This is crazy, bro. What's better about Bleach and Naruto? Uh, it's I need just, to know. Give me, give me, give me three points so we don't talk to you. But style, people animation, lore. I mean, what do you, what do you mean? It's better in every way. It's like just a hit, like head over shoulders, like better anime, right? We're gonna have to Am have I crazy. A, you just a little bit, not not very crazy because I've heard this take similar before, but Bleach is better. Like I thought, everybody, style in terms of what the actual drip of the characters. I mean, that is a part of it, but I also mean the animation style itself. It's more appealing and just looks better as an anime, especially an anime that I mean they take place under similar stylistic circumstances, right? For sure. So I mean, if you're comparing the way that Bleach does that world and naruto i mean is there even a competition am i crazy this is why i'm like what bro there is no way you believe that uh, it's lore not even two you said lore yeah the lore of bleach is oh my wait. goodness gracious you know, ninja dude. school these guys in ninja no school, guys. see that's you guys i'm talking to somebody who's ninja never watched ninja naruto school, bro. and he's trying to tell me that a different show is better than the show he hasn't watched could you imagine that Imagine never listening to an album, a rap album, and saying you automatically know another album's better. In most cases, you're probably right. But we're not talking about a rap album here. We're talking about a 700-plus episode title compared to a three or 
episode title. Not well, saying long well, on. Not saying yeah, length matters about, about that combo. Say, I'm just saying Naruto saying has a say? whole lot more to offer than Bleach does. I feel. Uh, I, I have a, I have a lot of what I've been told by others hot takes about Bleach that I could never put it in the number two spot of the big three. Well, so why? Get, uh, walk First, um, unfortunately for me, Ichigo is a very, very boring MC. Yeah, I'd agree with v- that. Very boring. Yeah, it's pretty boring. And I don't yeah. like this whole thing. I understand most MCs fit this trope, but Ichigo really takes the cake with this. Um, he just like kind of figures out thing like like okay here's an example the obvious main three types of species in bleach are what we're gonna we're gonna say soul reapers hollows and quincy's right because yeah there's nothing outside of that besides like the soul king if you will he, he here comes ichigo right mc acting like the big bad clone of yusuke for those of you that don't know that's what ichigo is his his his, his upbringing in his youth is almost the same as how uh yusuke's was he's yep. like the badass in school whoops mm-hmm. all the niggas mm-hmm. asses nobody wants to smoke with him although he's nowhere near the biggest you know things You're like that meshy. that's i will give him his credit for that i fuck with that um no i just kind of don't like you know if you will plot armor you know that that's a big topic in anime especially nowadays yeah. plot armor right things right. that kind of don't make sense to the viewer this guy should never have been able to win this fight or this shouldn't have happened for this reason whatever i mean people try to put logic in the anime and let's be real anime is not real there's no logic yeah there, there, there should be some logic but not full logic right, there if right. i will i don't like how ichigo just like he's he's everything that the world has uh to offer in terms of being the best uh reincarnation or or being of something right in this case the three that i named right you right. know yeah and there's so many fights Ichigo never should have won. Huh. Not even came close. For, okay. First and foremost, okay. the first one I always say, and I have this this conversation with my friends, this debate so many, so many times I've had this. When he first comes across Kenpachi in Soul Society, if I'm not mistaken, it was during or on the way to the uh, Soul Society arc where he's there to rescue Rukia, Right. He comes across Kenpachi, who even at that time, you are very well let known who Kenpachi is and w- why he is how he is. You know, you see this badass dude come up, spiky hair, eye patch on, whole bunch of scars on his body, big as fuck. Yeah, yeah. You mean to tell me Ichigo beats him there? I understand he's the MC. Let's throw that out the window for a second, right? But I mean, I could say the same thing about Yusuke with Hiei. Hiei is... No. Are you serious? Hiei, when Hiei first meets... Yusuke, Yusuke doesn't even really know how to use a spirit gun. And somehow he beats Hiei, who's been a, a a demon thief for, what, a thousand years prior? And somehow what? he and, and he can phase in and out of reality and move so fast that you can't even, like, your your brain, he's moved to the place bef- after you, your brain can process that he even moved there. And you're telling me that Yusuke, who what a week ago was playing in the in the uh fucking niggas asses in high school yeah in high school he was he was uh you know or middle school i think yeah he was stuffing niggas in the in the locker room and right in, in high school and somehow he can fight even a c-class demon which was what at that time i, I think it was d or c-class at that time that yeah. EA was is preposterous it isn't and it's here's why here's why the only thing he had over yusuke at that time was his speed. Don't forget, hold on. We're, we're, we're talking about a Hiei that didn't know how to use the, uh, what was it? The the flame of the black dragon? The, that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. But he crazy doesn't. Crazy fucking ability. Yeah, I, he doesn't need that at that time. For I agree. a human, that wouldn't even need to happen. He wasn't right? a human. For a half demon, that wouldn't have even needed to happen You for Yusuke. Yeah. If especially someone that was a spirit detective that was not trained. Fair. Remember, the whole point was that Yusuke had like raw power and raw talent, yeah. but he was not trained. He had no right. understanding. He had to go to see Koemba, yeah. or not Koemba, but uh, I forgot the uh, the old lady. He had to uh, go get, tra- that was before yeah. he went to go see the old lady. You're telling me- Genkai or something? But, yeah, name? before he even saw Genkai, he could beat Hiei? You crazy? Ah, uh, just in that bout though, it wasn't like a, in, in, okay, in Yusuke's head, 
I doubt his actual intent was to kill him, right? Because Yusuke was so new to all this. He was yeah. trying to figure things out, right. see what was going on. He was trying to just gauge the situation for what it was. Now, if the motherfucker's like, hey, I'm about to cut your head off, that's different. Right. But that point you just brought up actually kind of aids my argument. What? We're talking about, right? We're talking about Ichigo. Mm-hmm. Kind of very similar. Like I said, very similar storyline. Same kind of thing happens. Except, if I'm not mistaken, Ichigo doesn't die to become a temporary soul reaper mm-hmm. as though Yusuke becomes an actual spirit detective, right? Because he does yeah. die. He passes over. Yeah. We see that happen, yeah, right. right? So we're talking Ichigo, a guy that knows little to nothing about the soul society at this point, right? Has no clue about who he is, right? Because mm-hmm. at this point, a hey, spoiler alert, you guys, if you're not, if you never fucking watched Bleach, pause the episode right here, fast forward a little bit. Ichigo doesn't know that his dad is a soul reaper, doesn't know that his mom was a hollow half Quincy, whatever the fuck he's made up as, right? So mm-hmm. he has no knowledge at all of a lot of things that are going on around him. Right. You mean to tell me he comes across Kenpachi, who, for those of you that also don't know this, Kenpachi is actually a title. His name is not, his last name is not Kenpachi, or his first name is not Kenpachi Zaraki. It's not his name. Kenpachi is a title for the strongest. That is what that uh, title true, stands true. for, right? Okay. So, although it was, it was kind of like a false title, we'll get into that at a different time. He comes across this guy who, as we've seen in multiple fights, that eye patch comes off, niggas are serious now. This ain't no fight for fun now. This right. is, I, I'm about to come kill you. Right, right. And he, what does he do? Slash him down his fucking torso, wins that fight, Kenpachi's eyes go away or whatever, he falls back. That should never happen. There's not, as a matter of fact, outside of the fact that he is an MC and obviously MCs have automatic plot armor, he should not beat any squad captain at that time, let alone even come close. This is an Ichigo that is not fully versed with the flash step yet. So he shouldn't be moving faster than anybody. He does not have more raw power than Kenpachi at this time. Sure, his hidden ability, his hidden talent, sure. Now that we're at the Thousand Year Blood World, we understand why he beat Kenpachi, sure. But as somebody watching that in the actual real time of that coming out, that should never happen. And he's the worst MC out of the big three by a landslide to me. Damn. To me. He's the worst. Okay, so somehow now, now, Luffy, now. hold on, somehow Luffy existing for 700 episodes. You know why Luffy is a better character for me? And I don't even, you guys, I don't even watch One Piece. I don't read One Piece either, but I have enough friends who are so into One Piece to have a little bit, enough knowledge to be having this argument or a slash debate. Whatever Luffy you, doesn't whatever go to the it. spirit world one Right, because it's not a part of their universe. Time. Okay, this nigga's alive for 700. Listen, yo, even Goku died, yo. You, they, they had even to kill off Goku. Go, yo, even. We need, we need to have that discussion, too. Uh, not, not, not specifically about Goku, madness. about why that happens. But to get back to why I would say Luffy is absolutely a better character than Ichigo, right? Ich, Ichigo does not. What does Ichigo go through? What kind of pain and suffering? What kind of loss does he actually experience? throughout bleach to at least have a good enough reason for why he maybe gets that power up right. maybe unlocks his potential whatever whatever you will you know he doesn't really go through much you know he he enjoys his life from before he knows about the soul society as mm-hmm. soon as he finds out about it knows about hollows can see them learns that he can fight them he's almost joyed at the fact that he can do that right right and who, who dies who dies? All of his friends, if I'm not mistaken, still right now in the Thousand Year Blood War are alive. None of them have died. His dad's always been around, never lost his dad. His sister's always been around. They've never been in any real danger besides one or two different times, which is way early on. You don't really get to see too much of his family. And his mom's not around. Fair. I'll give him that. You can say the same thing about the other two. Naruto doesn't have either of his parents. Luffy, I think, only has one. And they're just probably about to get to where they explain or give you more info on who his mom is, right? So, taking all that away, Luffy actually goes through a lot of struggle. Right. He actually overcomes things. Of course, again, that MC trope is there with Luffy as well. I'll never take that away. But he goes through a lot more and learns a lot more through his experiences to get to where he is now in his 
what I would believe to be his final form that we're finally seeing, you know? Right. Maybe maybe there's going to be another one. If they do, they're kind of milking it. Sorry to say that, One Piece fans. Kind of milking it. Thousand-something episodes in, we're finally seeing the last form. But I would still put Luffy above. Hmm. I would. I would. You make some good points, man. I'm not going to lie. I Only mean, a few I, here and there, bro. You know, I, I, can't, I can't say that uh, that wasn't convincing. However... I mean, let's get real. Now was Ichigo cooler? Yeah, like, let's get real. Ah, you know, then 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 I'm with you, let's bro. Let's get I serious mean, about this. Like, let, let's be real, bro. I mean, you got a nigga just fresher? stepping in. Who's fresher? Yeah. yeah. Oh, by by landslide, uh, Ichigo is, bro. I mean, there's only there's not many characters in the anime I'm putting above him drip wise. Yusuke definitely. Yeah, de- y- Yusuke, Yusuke might, might be get one the number of the, one spot. I think Yusuke might be number one, but like, there's very few between them, him and and Ichigo, like. Bro, there's very few. Uh, I mean, there, there's some. You see, here, here's my problem with when it comes to drip, right? That '90s era just had the drip on lock. We're seeing, we're seeing shit from 30 years ago that niggas are just now wearing today in real life. Yeah, Let's be real, bro. Or I maybe mean, for the last five years. I mean, it was it was incredible. Anybody that's gotten to like the the th- second or third season into Yu Yu Hakusho. When they start just wearing regular street wear, yeah, oh, it, get, it kind of it, starts to get incredibly uh, uh, flagrant. Like it's almost like we shouldn't be letting people in on these drips. Like we shouldn't let everybody see how fresh this is. We don't want too many posers, you know, taking that jocking that style. It is like, a time that was very new to see. Like I said, it bro, was. I, I'm used to like okay at that time. I'm used to like Dragon Ball, Pokemon. What? The only time you see Goku or anybody in like different outfits is what filler episodes. We're not yeah. counting that though, right? We're not because that was strictly like I said for the anime purposes, and it was for time slot reasons, which is cool. I fucked with some filler episodes back then as a kid, but for argument's sake, I feel like Yu Yu Show was one of those first that was like, "Nah, we ain't doing that." Nah, N- and niggas yeah. about to be fresh to death in this anime. Every you got episode, me fucked up. Every you episode, think. yo, everybody's clean. Every, and, yeah, and it's not just them. Exactly, it's yeah. not just the MC. No, the whole squad's Everybody, getting wardrobe Everybody's changes. got different fits, and, and and sometimes they got the blazer on. Like sometimes they're just you know uh, business casual. Like how many animes had the had the business casual bro, demons? Bro. The business, yo, the business casual demons. Listen were up. Listen to me on Yu Yu Hakusho. The 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 fit. I actually just seen a post and a thread of this niggas hating because the 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 topic of discussion was drippiest anime characters with a picture of about twelve or fifteen different characters. Of course, they're all MCs. Yeah, yeah. Well, some weren't. Of course, Yusuke was on there. Ichigo was on there. Yeah, but. One thing that I seen in the thread that somebody pulled up as a counter argument was this fit of Ichigo, or not Ichigo's, uh, Yusuke's that I thought was fresh as hell. Man's had on the polo shirt first, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. the the uh, crew neck over that, and the bomber jacket, sleeves pulled up, the yep. blue jeans, and the white and black uh, shoes, right? Yep. I'm like, oh my God, like, like this thing knows how to dress, yep. right? Yep. Names yep. were in the comments hating talking about this ain't fresh he looks like a 40 year old dad trying to trying to be fresh and i'm like nah y'all y'all don't know what you're talking about right now this mm-hmm. is this is classic right here we ain't talking about no dragon ball no naruto even in naruto they don't really do it out like that and i'm just like you guys 